Okay, we're here with Finn later. Yes. And she's an artiste. And she, we're just looking at some of our work here. Our inspiration, where do you get your inspiration from? From the plight of the endangered American Mustang horse. And it was something that really inspired me. And I wanted to paint a narrative of their plight in 20 paintings. So it started with very large canvases like this one. And it goes down to a very small canvas, 20 by 30 centimetres. And as man encroaches on their world, so too do the canvases get smaller and smaller. And it is a, it is a crying shame that there was millions of these lovely wild Mustangs roaming free in America from Montana to Nevada and now there's less than 35,000 in the wild. Most of them are corralled in enclosures or adopted when the lucky ones are adopted like these ones here but most of the time they're corralled in enclosures by helicopter randoms 600 at a time and a lot of them die of the heat, exhaustion, cold water and uh, through the Cloud Foundation and a wonderful photographer called Carl Walker I was inspired to do something about this. Okay, the, the, the indigenous Mustang horse in America, you can imagine Wow, America's a big continent, there's a load of land, a load of resources. You could run you could run a million horses. Yes, yes. What's what is the what is the main problem? Well the argument is that the land is ideal. It runs from Montana to Nevada and it's ideal for fracking. And America can become economically energy independent from the oil and gas that can be extracted from fracking. Plus, ranchers want the land to run their cattle. And so the world of the wild mustang has been squeezed out. And they're seen a lot of the time as just feral interruptions in the smooth running of fracking and ranching. And so therefore must be taken off the land. Whereas in fact, the wild mustang came to America in the 16th century by the conquistadores. And there's some unique Spanish strain of the wild mustang still, still living. But if, if America would only realize that if they get rid of the entire wild population, the symbol of America is yeah. gone. Because we associate America with these beautiful, wide open plains and spaces where people can go and see nature at its best. Surely there's an argument to leave even some thousands of them on the land. Yeah, but at the, at the end of the day, it's the dollar. If there's money in it, animals go to, go to animals, the land. Animals, animals suffer. Everything. Rainforests, you name it. So I hope that I've made, as an Irish artist, made some impact on the plight of this endangered. Mustang. Well, you've, you've certainly informed the Dublin, the Dublin public, and the Dublin show people, Great. and myself, Great. of their plight. I didn't realise how, how, how tightly they were being squeezed.